I'm here outside Queen's Hospital in Burton, where each year they see almost 30,000 emergency admissions. A couple of months ago, I was one of those admissions, so I popped back to see the doctors and nurses that helped save my life. Dr. K, great to see you. You were the first person I saw when I came into hospital. Yes, and remember your case because we had to give more than 20 over blood products altogether, which included um, red blood cell, fresh frozen plasma, cryoprecipitate, platelets, just everything to try and stop the bleeding as well. And you're going to use my case as a study, aren't you? Yes, so I've done a teaching session with the consultants, you know, doctors, nurses, and plan to write a case as well to one of the medical journals. Well, great to meet you again. Uh, there were other people obviously involved in my care. Uh, Andrew, Samantha and Stacey, they're just here. Another busy night for you, yes? Very busy night, very, very challenging night. Um, I would say one of the most challenging nights I've ever had in my whole career. Didn't leave your side all night, you require one-to-one -one care. And because you were so poorly, we had to initiate the Trust's major hemorrhage policy. I mean, you really were extremely unwell, but staff were phenomenal throughout and we're really pleased you've got through. But it's the type of care that you give to everybody throughout yeah. the hospital, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. 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 We didn't know why I was losing so much blood. And it was down to Mr Najam Hussein to make the critical decision to operate. You're bleeding excessively, um, so much so that a massive transfusion protocol was initiated, which is the, the extent of extreme off. So we took out um, uh, the section of bowel which had tumour in it, and that was the point which was bleeding. You haven't actually seen your handiwork, have you? Take a look at this. Inside your bowels are all stapled with nice titanium staples. <laughs> I'm like the bionic man. <laughs> You're the bionic man. <laughs> Thank you very much indeed. I'm, uh, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm eternally grateful. Let's go meet the rest of the team. Yeah, sure. Yeah, we should. Ladies, I don't remember being on this ward. Tell me about it. No, you came here because you had a major operation and most of the sick patients are being looked after here. So were you. Mm -hmm. So we looked after you and that's why you're here. All of the patients get one-to-one -one nursing care and intensive care. So it's the best place for you to be observed and you were essentially having life support. All these machines like this were keeping you alive while you were asleep, while your body was healing and getting you here now. I was quite fatigued when I left here. It's very common when you've been in intensive care. Your muscles might feel like you're doing something in the bed, but the muscles are very weak and we know that just one day in an ITU bed ages your muscles. Well, ladies, I can't say enough. Thank you very much indeed. So this is a team that saved my life. Now, uh, I can't donate blood anymore because I've had so many transfusions, but you guys keep doing what you're doing best because you never know when you're going to need a team like this.